Hi friends, welcome to my channel SQL with Ravi Martha. In this series of videos, we will focus on SQL interview questions and answers. I will use SQL Server to demonstrate examples. So let's get started with one of the most frequently asked interview questions. That is order of select statement execution. In this slide, I have a select statement and the interviewer may ask what is the logical processing of the SQL statement. Here, we may think that this, the order would start from the select statement, but it's wrong. Let's move on to the next slide. Here is the actual order of the select statement. So in this case, the query processor, first it will try to access all the tables or the views which are defined in the from class. And then using the on class, it will try to join with other tables and it will retrieve all that particular data and it will make available to the rest of the classes to execute. So in this case, the first three will be executed. That is from class, on class, and then join class. After that, this data will be fed to the where class. That means here, the employee location, which is not equal to London, will be retained. And if the employee location is equal to London, that is will be discarded. After that, the data will be grouped by department name and then the having clause will be executed. So upon grouping by department name, if the count of employees is greater than one, that will be retained. If it is equal to one or less than one will be discarded. After that, the select statement will be executed and department name from the department table and the count of employees ID from employee table will be retrieved. Then the distinct class will be executed. That means if there are any duplicates that will be uh, discarded, right? After that, the order by class will be executed. Here the D dot department name, that is the department name from the table department table will be sorted. So that the data will be sorted on this particular column. After that, the offset will be executed. So the, the syntax for the offset may vary slightly based on the database. Example, it is an Oracle, slightly it is different. So you can just refer to the syntax of this offset. So going back, so this is the overall execution of the SQL statement. So the from clause, on clause and join clause. Moving on, it will go to the where clause processing and then group by and then having class and then select statement and it will retrieve the unique records and discard the duplicate records here. And then the data will be sorted based on the column mentioned in the order by class. And then based on the offset, that means it will just retrieve the what of the range we have specified here, right? So let's flip back to the SMS SQL Server Management Studio. I have so I'm going to create two tables that is TBL employee and TBL department. I'll switch to the context SQL with Ravi Martha database, right? So this is a SQL for creating the TBL employee. It got created, and we'll let's create the TBL department that's created. Let's insert some test data to TBL employee table. That's done. Let's insert some of the data in TBL department. That's done. So let's check if the data is inserted or not. Yeah, the data is there. Let's go ahead and check TBL department. Yes, that data is there. So as we discussed, this is the SQL statement which we have executed. I have aliased this particular column as count of employees. So in this case, First, the from class will be executed, then on class, and then join, then where class, then followed by group by, having, select, and the distinct class will be executed. Right? After that, the order by class will be executed, and then offset will be executed from there. Right? Moving on, so let's prove where class executes before the select class. For this, what I have done is I have aliased this particular department name as department and the count of employees as count of employees. And when I use this particular aliased here in the where class, it says this is an invalid column name. 
that means the red squiggly line here implies that where class executes before the select class so let me exclude this execute this particular sql it says invalid column name that means it is not being recognized that means it is not being retrieved by the time it is evaluating this particular where class that proves the where class executes before the select class right moving on so let's prove group by executes before select class so in this case i have used the same alias to the group by class so the red squiggly line implies that the group by class executes before the select class and moving on to the next one having executes before select class so it gives a similar error that means it is not being evaluated by the time the having is executed right moving on to the next one so in this case i have used the department which is aliased in the first select statement and it's not giving me any error that means by the time the order by is getting evaluated this select statement is already evaluated and we have this department in the memory so that implies that order by executes after the select statement on this slide you have the details for my email blog channel and channel name in case if you need any assistance from me just drop an email at sql.ravimartha at gmail.com and i will place all the required sql which we discussed onto this blog you can just copy paste and you can try uh, exploring things please subscribe my channel thank you have a good day well we have reached the summary slide so let's quickly recap what we learned in this session so here is the logical order of processing of a select statement the processing will start from the from class then on class then join class followed by where class then the group by class if you are using any super groups that is with cube or with roll up that would be executed after that having class will be executed then the select list will be retrieved then the distinct class will be executed then followed by order by class then the offset class or if you are using the top class then the top class will be executed if you want to brush up your sql before an interview you can take a quick tour of summary slides in every video of my channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up by liking the video and comment the topic for next interview question also do subscribe and tap the bell icon for notifications